I'm gonna cut right to the chase. I'm Elijah Nixon, your St. Landry Parish reporter. And with bad weather being predicted to hit our area, it may cause trees to fall. But if you're using a chainsaw for the first time, we have some safety protocols and guidelines for you to follow. Storms happen often in Louisiana. And it can cause trees to blow and fall in every direction. Branches and huge pieces of lumber can end up in roads and yards. And it's a job for one handy tool. The chain can get loose in the process, but it's still safe to put it back on when the machine is off. You make sure your chain brake is off. Before you pull the clutch cover off, you put your chain back on, screw it back down tight. There is an adjustment on all saws. Take a screwdriver, adjust them tight. You want a rubber band tight. You want them to where you can pull them back and pop it. If you can't pull it back and pop it, it's too loose. Once you pull your chain brake back. The chainsaw is one way to help with the aftermath. Every, all these saws have these big bars in the front. You stick them in the tree, you cut slow, throttle wide open when you're pushing down, it's gonna cut itself. It's no work on you, no labor on you. If you're sitting there and you're trying to cut it, it's gonna, all the work's gonna be on you. Some tools are not fun to use when the material is wet or dry, but the chainsaw can be operated in any condition. Dry, of course, gets you messy, it makes you itch, but uh, other than that, wet, it's all the same. Now, we can't predict the damages the storm may cause, but there is a safe way to clean it all up. Reporting in Opelousas, I'm your St. Landry Parish reporter, Elijah Nixon with KATC TV3.